you becoming a bodybuilding professional and having a pro card, and now you're competing with the pros mm -hmm. and what comes with that. And it's just like, some people wouldn't even go beyond that. And the fact that you continue to pursue it, just period, like, hey, I know I'm not as genetically gifted, but I'm gonna I'm gonna really work to compete, and I'm gonna be the most sh the shredder. You were the shredder. You were a baki butt. <laughs> you were the shredder. Because eventually, what can happen happen is this. So you have talent. You have hard work. Now, if talent works hard, you're just in trouble. Okay. When talent works hard, you get Jordan. You get Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. You get Kobe. You get, you get Beyonce. Beyonce. You get, you get all these people. But if you get talent that doesn't work hard, like Ben Simmons. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There are other players in the NBA who don't have his genetic talent, who have had better careers up to this point because they've been willing to put in the work. So the same thing with the natural bodybuilding. I mean... You've seen it. There's just guys who are just genetic, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. But what happens is that you see their habits, though. Yeah. And, and, and you're just like, okay, if I can stay in it long enough with the habits I have, I can catch them. And you can pass them. 